we have a square with sides of length 2 and a circle inside with radius 1, which means the area of the circle is p times r squared, which equals pi, and the area of the square is 2 times 2, which equals 4. Now, here's where it gets clever. The ratio of the circle's area to the square's area is pi divided by 4, and this ratio also tells us what fraction of randomly thrown darts should land inside the circle versus the total number thrown at the square. So we start throwing darts randomly at our board, and we keep track of two numbers, how many land inside the circle and how many we've thrown total. And how can we approximate pi from that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. We look at the area of the circle and the square, and we take their ratio, which in this case gives us pi divided by 4. So we'd expect that the ratio between the number of darts inside divided by the total darts to also be pi divided by 4. So pi will be equal to 4 multiplied by the number of darts inside divided by the total darts. Now, let's start the simulation. After just 10 throws, our estimate would usually be pretty far off, but as we throw more and more darts, something remarkable happens. With 100 darts, we're getting closer, probably within an error range between 0.1 and 0.2. And with 1000 darts, we might be at 3.14, incredibly close to the true value of pi.